Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good morning, everyone. This is Frank. For those of you who really doubt if solar works on cloudy days or in the rain, that is on a rainy day, here is a short video clip for all of you doubting if solar is really efficient when it's raining. Um, I wouldn't really say very efficient. Um, solar has to, anything solar has to do with the sun. But in a situation whereby we have um, rainy days or cloudy days, its output is not really much. You might tag it or time it highly infinitesimal, but it still outputs little currents or little charging amps current into your battery. You can see outside that's my PV setup, that's my solar array uh, made up of um, 300 watts times um, 6 units, giving us 1.8 kilowatts in total. As you can see clearly, it's drizzling. The whole area is wet. Um, let me show you. You can see it's raining, it's raining, everywhere is wet. My panels are wet. Um, let's go inside. Let's go inside and show you. The panels are wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I use a an eye tracer MPPT. Let me see. Okay. Right now, uh, I'm getting about 20 amps charging current. My battery volt is on 26.37, and it's 10 a.m. almost uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. Today's date being July 28. Um, there's an eye tracer, as you can all see, a Chinese uh, solar charge controller, 60 amps MPPT. Oh, this is here purposely to charge uh, a 24 volt battery bank which my 24 volt inverter uses right now I'm currently on a cyber power 3.5 kV 24 volt inverter and um, I'm totally should I call it partially off grid our light here is very very poor yeah, you can see the charging current flickering around 14 amps right now. Very dull weather here, very dull weather. It's raining. And this is just a little heat. The panels are sensing from the sky. This is on 16 amps. 16 amps right now. 15 amps. Oh. This setup powers on all lightning points in the in our little three rooms, three bedroom apartment and parlor. Though nothing on right now on the parlor. I'm about going out. My TV switched off and uh, only my fridge on right now. My fridge works on a programmable timer switch for six hours per day. Six hours per day. Sometimes I adjust the timer switch to cut off around 1 o'clock sometimes I program it to cut off around 2 p.m. so 5 stroke 6 hours per day that is starting from 9 it works 10 11 12 1 that is 4 hours 2 making it 5 hours sometimes I adjust it to cut off 1 sometimes 2 o'clock sometimes 3 o'clock depending on how bright the day is right nowadays we have um cloudy days, um, dull weather, rainy days, um, so I do fine tuning sometimes, maybe maximum 4 hours, but on a good sunny day, a very bright day, um, I will simply leave it on 1 or 2 o'clock, maximum 5-6 hours for just the fridge, um, that's my um, circuit breaker, a DC breaker, which controls uh, the current flow from my PV as a solar array to uh, my charge controller. Then to the battery, I'm using a 
a 64 amps breaker 64 amps breaker for the main time it ought to be it ought to be roughly 63 amps but 63 64 okay i made use of the 32 amps breaker in two places because i'll find it difficult getting a 63 amps breaker then and um that's my battery setup I use a um, genius tubular batteries that is 24 volts connected in um, series and um, parallel looks to 24 volt battery together making it uh, 24 volt 400 amps all together yeah 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 and that's my um, cyber power inverter that's my cyber power inverter 3.5 kVA 24 volt as you can all see uh, uh, pardon my connection man <laughs> I'm a handyman so uh, I'm always like fixing one or two things loosening tightening you know <laughs> pardon my wires are you know, flying uh, all over the battery but it's still safe it's still safe and secure um, as you can see uh, and that's uh, this is my uh, changeover switch mainly this controls um, the solar system powering the uh, AC in my room that's the one horsepower AC um, scan first AC doesn't really draw much uh, on startup it draws um, up to 950 watts there about then um, when it works continuously it drops to roughly 800 750 watts which to me it's cool it's cool um, I use it roughly sometimes um, for two to three hours mainly in the night or on a sunny day on a very very bright day it can work as long as I want yeah then um, like I said this is mainly for the AC and the water pumping machine one horsepower yeah then um, this is for the inverter charge on the dull cloudy days my gen can really power the in uh, inverter that's my 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 server selects AC source, especially from the generating um, set, the power generator. So it's either I switch it on for to enable um, a charge uh, with an external source because I have an external battery charger, an intelligent one. Though I rarely use it, just on cloudy days. Note that. Then this is the bypass switch for maintenance. This is the inverter working mode. Anytime the inverter wants to go for maintenance, I want to swap inverter from inverter A to inverter B. For safety's sake, it's on bypass and off the charging source to avoid anything or um, hazard um, electric shock. Um, let's see, that's my servo stub. Yeah, I call it a partial upgrade installation. Light here sometimes can be as bad as in sometimes six weeks going to two months no light one neighbor brings it hey up neighbor and before you know it it's gone you know i can't we can't really boast of six hours light here continuously without you know and the disappointment okay um let me show you guys the timer switch timer switch um this is just um, an inverter compressor or um, Samsung fridge as you can see the fridge is on right now this is a Samsung 10 year warranty on the digital inverter uh, nothing much nothing much there's a freezer you can see it's frosty it's on working yeah you can see yeah you can see here it's working on right now because it's not yet two o'clock for the timer program even timer switch to cut up you can see it's on that's my timer switch chintkg316 working well it's been here roughly more than a year now 
it's there you know the dummy it's really doing its work highly efficient highly effective comes with a, a finger battery the common batteries you use for um, your remote controls at home or your wall clock just the finger battery the dispenser sometimes I connect it to the um, timer so sometimes I switch it up right now it's off I don't really need something cold right now oh it's better we conserve energy it's better you monitor your loads it's better you know how to like do proper load management especially when you're on solar yeah as you can see um i use energy saving led bulbs on my um, small chandeliers and um, all of them are highly energy um, efficient on the ac in the parlor you can see this is just a low voltage technology um ac chinese ac by blue gate and the other by um scan first yeah you can see that these are all led bulbs in case you're wondering look at it led where's the wattage of this oh how to get this this is um ellie's let me see this is uh this is ellie's oh can i get can i get okay let me see yeah that's better no more flickering this is ellie's um two watts yeah i ordered this personally online ellie's um two watts 220 to 40 volt made in um made in china yeah made in china you can see that just one for this ah because i really don't have much right now this is the last one remaining a tiny pin for the central chandelier yeah um right now the tv set is not on my tv draws about 130 watts 130 120 watts mats um but that now we start in my 1.8 um um hybrid system or partial off grid system it's very very okay it powers this fridge 20 i mean powers my tv set uh, this is a 55 inch um, android tv powers it on um, 24 hours 7 it's 130 watts but i really don't have any cost to worry my bulbs and everything here energy efficient um my fridge the uh, inverter fridge doesn't really draw mo much power like that and um it picks around nine, cuts around one, two, there about, depending on, you know, my choice. Um, the fan really doesn't draw up to 70 watts.